first of all is cut the silica stars, stick the end caps on, select the silica silicon, place it on the bottom of the frame. Obviously we turn the frame upside down so that we can screw it down. We're going to screw the sill on from underneath to the frame. So once we've got it positioned, it goes out either side if it's slightly longer than the frame itself. And then we'll put three fixings in the bottom to secure the sill to the frame. So as you can see, we've got the three self-tapping screws in to secure the sill in place. Now I'm going to use these wind bags as a third hand to sit the window in and um, See how we see how we are for size. As you see, I've placed the window in place. I've used the wind bags just to hold it secure while we square it up and lift it and Make it fun. These are always handy if you need two of you because you can use them as your third hand. So they're just handy to two of them wind bags. Right now we've got all our levels, we've got it in flush um, level and inside. And down at the bottom there, all squared in. What we're going to do now is pile up these. Right. So we can get our SDS in without damaging the plastic. So we'll get a couple of fixings in to hold it in place. Now we'll fully fix it. These don't require any plugs or anything straight into masonry or brick. So now I'm going to fix it for me to give it an extra bit of extra insulation and um, fixing points. is fully installed now all it needs is a um, silicon seal around when the foam's gone off and you can use a grey silicon to match the brickwork so it's foam insulated fixed at the fixing points um, inside and out so we've got a good thermal on it so now for now my next video I'm going to show you how to glaze it if you want to watch this on this particular system.